Hi everyone! It's great to see you this week because it is a big week in our adventure. It's not the end of our Bible adventures, but we are today doing our last story from the Old Testament. Let's take a minute to remember some of the things we've talked about so far. We packed our bags and found our guides. What's our guide again? The Bible. That's right. From the Bible, we learn that God created the whole world and that God has got the whole world in God's hands. Something happened in the Garden of Eden, though. Something that ruined God's creation. What was that? Sin. That's right. So we started to learn about God's plan to redeem the earth and to save people from sin. First, we learned about Noah and how God saved the animals and Noah's family from the flood. But people kept sinning. Then we learned about Abraham. God promised Abraham he would have a huge family. Most importantly, through Abraham's family, God planned to bring a savior to the world. On our adventure, we've heard from so many friends. We've heard about the story of Moses and Samuel and Daniel and Esther, among many other Bible heroes. We even stopped to do my laundry. We've seen lots of maps. Maps show us where on the globe the Bible stories happened during history. We've heard the stories of Jacob and David and Elijah. But in all of this, we've not yet heard the story of our Savior. Let's listen to one more story from the Old Testament that points us to Jesus. Read, would you tell us the story of Jonah? This is the story of Jonah and the whale. There was a man named Jonah, and there was a city called Nineveh. Nineveh was one of the biggest cities in the world, but it was also one of the most terrible places. The people there were wicked and did terrible things to one another. This made God very sad and angry. He said to Jonah, Go and warn the people in this city that if they don't stop their evil actions, I will destroy their city. But Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. He was afraid of what the people would do to him if he gave them this message from God. Instead, he went to the harbor, where all the big ships were, to get on a boat that was going far away. He just made it there as one of the boats was about to leave the harbor to sail across the sea far away. Jonah went down below deck to take a nap. He wanted to forget that he was running away from the job God had asked him to do. As the boat was moving smoothly through the waters, Jonah fell asleep. While he was asleep, God caused a terrible storm to rise over the sea. Although the sailors on this boat were used to sailing through big storms and tall waves, this storm terrified them. The sailors woke Jonah up from his deep sleep. Jonah could see how afraid they were. Immediately, Jonah knew the storm was sent by God, and why? Jonah said to the sailors, I should never have been on board this ship. It is my fault, because I should have gone to Nineveh. Instead, I was trying to run away from God by sailing in the opposite direction. Now you must throw me into the sea. Then God will make the storm go away. So the sailors threw Jonah into the sea. Immediately, the wind stopped blowing, and the waves became flat. The dark gray sky turned to blue, and the sun started to shine again. Everything was nice and quiet, and the men on the ship were safe. But Jonah was sinking under the water. He went deeper and deeper and deeper into the sea. He saw a big shadow approaching right under him from the depths of the sea. It came closer and closer. The shadow was a big whale! that came and swallowed Jonah right up. It swallowed him in one mouthful. 
Jonah went all the way down through the belly of the whale. It was dark and smelled terrible inside the belly of the whale. Everything it ate was swallowed into its belly, along with Jonah. Although it was a scary and dark place to be, inside the belly of the whale, deep down in the sea, Jonah knew that God could still hear him. So he started to pray to God. Jonah prayed for three days and nights. God had not forgotten Jonah. All the time as Jonah was praying to God, the whale was swimming toward land. On the third day, it spit Jonah up on the seashore. Jonah thanked God and said, From now on, I will always obey what you tell me to do. Once again, God told Jonah, Go to Nineveh and warn the people of what I will do. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh. He warned the people there that if they did not stop their evil actions, God would destroy them and their city. The people listened to Jonah and agreed that their lives had been evil. They also asked God to forgive them. God forgave the people in Nineveh, saved their lives, and did not destroy their city. The end. Thanks, Reed. So, what did you think of Jonah? Did Jonah always listen to God? No. But we can still learn a lot from this story. God wanted to save Nineveh, so he sent Jonah. But did Jonah want to go? No. What did he do? He ran, or sailed, in the opposite direction. What happened next? While Jonah was on the sailboat, a big storm happened because it wasn't God's will. And Jonah realized that he, his decision was putting a lot of people in danger. So Jonah told the truth and fessed up and told the crew to throw him overboard. But God didn't want Jonah to die. God still wanted to use Jonah to save the people of Nineveh. So what did God do? God sent a whale or a big fish. That's right. And that whale swallowed Jonah and kept him safe for three days until he could spin him up on shore. And inside of that whale, Jonah prayed to God and told God he was ready to listen and ready to do God's will. Once he was safe on shore again, what did Jonah do? He went to Nineveh and shared the good news that God wanted to save the people. What did the people of Nineveh do? Did they listen? That's right, they did. They repented of their sin, asked God for forgiveness, and were saved. There's a lot of similarities between that story and the story of Jesus. It's not exactly the same, because Jesus is God and Jonah is a person, just like us. So, Jesus always did God's will, and Jonah, just like us, sometimes didn't. But still... God wanted to save the people of Nineveh, so he sent Jonah. God wanted to save the people of the world, so he sent Jesus. Jonah almost died, but God sent a whale to save him. And Jonah was in the whale for three days. Jesus did die, but God pulled off an even bigger miracle by resurrecting Jesus from the dead. Even though he was in hell for three days, he rose again. Jonah got to Nineveh and shared the good news and people repented and were saved. Jesus rose again. And that was good news for everyone because through Jesus, we all can be saved. The story of Jonah is a great one to end on in the Old Testament because it's a great example of how the whole Bible points to God's plan to send Jesus and save the world from sin. We'll keep talking about Jesus on our adventures next week, but I'm so glad that we spent the last few weeks learning about the Old Testament. It was so fun to learn all of those stories with you, 
and so wonderful to remember God's plan and God's love for all of us. Would you pray with me? God, thank you for the Old Testament and especially today for the story of Jonah. From the very beginning, your plan was to forgive our sin and redeem us so that we could live with you forever in heaven. You love us so much, God, and sometimes it's hard to imagine that much love. Sometimes we do what we want to do instead of what you want us to do. Forgive us for those moments and help us to always remember that we are saved and help us to share that good news with everybody else. God, we thank you for our church community and for the chance that we've had to learn together about you. Be with us this week and bring us back together next week. All this we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.